G'day Scribblers and welcome back to Painting with Risley. I'm painting the snow country without snow for a change. I saw this photo on the internet on uh, Facebook. A friend of mine has been up there walking around and taking photos so I pinched this. Uh, I will ask him if he minds if I paint it or not. But I thought I'd paint it first and then uh, if it turns out pretty good, I'll ask him. If it turns out crummy, I'll forget about it. <laughs> well, it'll turn out okay. Anyway, let's get to it. So I've sketched in the composition. So I'm just going to mark in the very darkest areas, which are black. So I'll put those in, the mid-tones, and I'll leave the white or the really light areas just as a white. We'll see how it looks, then I'll start to put some subtleties into it. The main thing is that the drawing is correct and that I get the tones in right as well. Let's go. My friend called Craig walked from Charlotte's Pass to Mount Kosciuszko, which is quite a walk. He said that it was easy, uh, but as long as you're fit, and you know what you're doing and where you're going, it's easy. You can't do this walk from June to October. It's going to be covered in snow. It'll be quite some time. Uh, you'll probably get lost and the weather could turn really bad. And you would freeze. Uh, so it is quite extreme. The weather could just be horrendous up there, windy, really cold, and summer it could even get quite hot. lights white and I've put in all the mid tones so now I'm ready to start adding the details putting the textures in the tones are pretty well there I might have to work on this bit here a lot of the flowers and the grass are all mid toned and these rocks are a bit mid toned down the front but there are still some real really light ones and some very light bits in the sky, but it's quite a dark sky too. Let's get to work. Just reading the notes from the National Parks and Wildlife on the internet. This spectacular long alpine track is suited to adventurous hikers eager to explore some of the highest reaches of the Kosciuszko National Park on foot. Set out from Charlotte's Pass along the 22 kilometre track, which takes you through the glacier carved landscapes of this protected UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. You'll be dazzled by the wildflower meadows in early summer, high up among the rugged main ridge to the very rooftop of Australia, Mount Kosciuszko. Mount Kosciuszko is 2,228 metres high. The view from there will stretch out as far as the eye can see. Now we've got a good texture here on the rocks. I'm just going to go back in and add these really dark, dark that I've actually painted over and lost them a little bit. So I'm just going to put them in through the rocks, the dark bits, that strong contrast. Clouds are looking okay. I'll let it dry a bit and I'll go back in with a bit more white. And uh, it's almost time to start putting the flowers in. From the top of Mount Kosciuszko, the track will loop back to Charlotte's Pass via the Mount Kosciuszko Summit Trail. 
sounds to me like a fascinating walk. I'd love to do that hike. I think I'd like to go as someone that knew where they were going, what they were doing. Now I'm just going to start working on this background bit here. A little bit of detail in there. Put the shadows in, the hills, the brush. So I'll work from the background and work forward. Especially take a camera and take some photos like Craig did. Just the perfect place to get some great ideas for paintings. Should do it one day. Summit Ridge Walk, Charlotte's Pass to the top of Mount Kosciuszko. Right, now I'm going to try and get some grass in here so it looks like grass. Little little blades of grass like this. Build them up with some mid-tone ones, some light ones, some dark ones. And this grassy tundra has a really different coloured growth. It's all small, very hardy growth, because this is up in the snow country. So lots of little plants, but they're very tough and they're all very small because it gets very windy up here. So as you can see, there's no big trees up here. It's just these funny, we got a beautiful, beautiful coloured alpine, it's not tundra, I don't think, uh, growth. No, well, let's start building that up. Uh, it looks like I've painted a fair bit of a painting here. It's been great painting this painting. I'm just working on the clouds here. Trying to get the really dark stormy clouds. It needs a bit of work. I need to soften it a lot. I've just put it on. I've got to work it in quickly. Soften it before it dries. Uh, Craig took a fair few photos, so I might even do another one. You never know. I worked on the sky there and made it a lot darker. I've tried to get the perspective in the clouds a little bit more. Might have to work on that and focus on getting perspective into the clouds. That will give it more of a sense of distance. I have brought in the dark. I've actually brought a little purple into the sky. And uh, well, hopefully that looks better. When I sit back and look at it later, I'll decide. I keep saying I've got to work on the grass and I haven't videoed any of that so I'm going to work on the grass now and make some video of that and see how that goes. So there's two ways to get to Mount Kosciuszko. You can go from Charlotte's Pass or you can go from Threadbow. The Threadbow option involves either starting from the village and hiking to the top of the chairlift and then following the main track to the summit, which is 21 kilometres return. Or you could start from the top of the chairlift. Now, that's definitely what I'd do. And that's 13 kilometres return. Starting from the chairlift is the most popular option. But it's 45 bucks for the trip up. And that's quite pricey, but you know, if you want to walk up, you're still going to be on the same trail as hundreds of other hikers, so it's very popular. It's a bit busy in peak season, but the views, they're, they're not as impressive as the route from Charlotte's Pass. The views from Charlotte's Pass are much better. A via loop that heads out from the main ridge track to the summit of Kosciuszko and returns via the Mount Kosciuszko Summit Trail, that's 22K. The loop is the best option. It's much quieter path. There's glacial lakes and splendid views.
Well, done a fair bit of work on the grass there. A lot of little flowers, getting some depth in there. I'm going to put a couple of little more well, <laughs> lines in there, little blades, flower things. I hope you like it. I'll do a little bit more and then I better get going. Thanks for watching. See you later.